Hey guys, Case of Man Rules here. Um, today I wanted to show you how to make a um, boot disk of um, Ubuntu. Okay, um, the latest version of Ubuntu is Ubuntu 8.10. And what we're going to do, for those who don't know what a boot disk is, is we're going to download uh, the OS. It's a very, it's a compact OS. It's not like Windows. It's, you know, hopefully you know what Ubuntu is, otherwise you're not going to want to be doing this. But yeah, okay, so you want to download the um, OS. They're going to put the um, ISO, which is the CD image, onto a, a CD. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pop it into your CD drive. And then when you restart your computer, it'll open it up. Uh, it'll open your computer up with Ubuntu and you'll be able to use it without making any modifications to your computer and when you restart it again you just take the disk out and it'll restart Windows. It's uh, pretty easy, pretty simple and it's kind of fun to learn how to use Ubuntu and some people even like it enough to want to switch to it over Windows or if they have the ability to uh, to dual boot. Um, okay. So what you're first going to want to do is go to uh, this right here um, I'll put it in the description, and um, you're going to make sure that it's on Desktop Edition, and make, select Ubuntu 8.10. This will be maintained till 2010, and they'll come up with a new one before then. Um, choose your uh, location that's nearest to you. Try it, just browse through it, see which one is closest to you, because uh, that'll make it go faster. If uh, it's applicable to you, you can choose 32-bit or 64-bit. It'll automatically be on 32-bit, which most people have. But if you have 64-bit uh, Vista, then you can use that. And then um, select Begin Download. And yeah, I'm not going to do it because I already have the file. So once you download it, you're going to get a file that looks like this. Um, okay. This is an image file. It's called an ISO. That that's it's well, yeah, it's pretty much called an ISO. Um, now the way that we have to burn this to a CD is using some sort of special program. Now, um, should I just closed out of that? Uh, there's um, a couple of ways to do this. You can't burn it like a regular thing. It's it's a little it's a little different. Um, I'm going to use Narrow because I have that, but that costs money so you're probably not going to want to use that there's a list of um i think yeah select select begin download and there should be a link to a list of ways um to put it on there um learn how to create a cd from your newly downloaded file um i'll also put this link in the description too um okay so there are a couple of uh programs you can use for this. Uh, the ones they have in this list are open source. Uh, one is called Infra Recorder, which from what I've heard works pretty good. That's probably what you're going to want to use. There's also something called ISO Recorder, but stick with Infra Recorder. I mean, I don't know why, just if you want to do something else, but fine. But yeah, it gives good explanations on here. Um, okay, but it's pretty much the same no matter what program you're using. So, um, open up your burning program, click open, and find that ISO file. Double click it. Okay, now, uh, it should bring you up to something similar to this. I like to not select finalized disk because even if it's CDRW, then it won't, it'll make it so you can't write it anymore. I mean, what's the point of that? that, that why do you have a CDRW then? But, um, select your write speed. And this this is all pretty much good for me at least. I don't know what the defaults are on other programs, but this works fine. I've already made a boot disk today. I'm just making another one to show you. Okay, and select burn. And it will start burning the CD. Um it takes it a little bit. Um shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to pause the video and come back. Alright, you guys, uh, just finished uh, burning. 
as you can see this took just about 20 minutes just for the burn itself and I forgot to mention but this download right here takes over an hour on a good on a good internet connection so yeah just so you know this is not a quick process but you can most of the time do other stuff while this is occurring okay so now that this is done uh i guess although it says 100 percent i guess it's still not quite done um okay so what i'm gonna do past this point i'll tell you while this is finishing up um here we go okay burn process completed okay and now i have the cd right here and what i'm gonna do it is I'm going to put the CD in the drive. This is what you're going to do too. Put the CD in the drive. Close the drive. Now, I don't. nothing should happen. There shouldn't be an auto run or anything like that on here. It should just be the way it is. Okay. Now what you're going to do after this is you're going to restart your computer. Okay, so since I can't... Um, oh, there is something that comes up. No, that's not important. Okay, um, what I'm going to have to do is switch to a video camera and try to do the best of video, uh, agrifer ing whatever job that I can of my computer because there's no way for me to screen record while it's restarting. So, I'm sorry if there's a little bad quality after this, but, uh, this is the best I can do. Okay, uh, see you guys on the video camera in a minute. Alright guys, um, here we are, um, I'm just turning the computer on, and it's going to boot up into Ubuntu because I put the disk in. Okay, so just to give it a second here, there's the code at the start, and there you go. There's Ubuntu, uh, select your language, I'm gonna do English obviously. And then select Try Ubuntu without any change to your computer. That'll run it out of RAM and off the CD that you just put in. So, there it goes. And a little bit more code. And here this comes up. This takes quite a while because it's loading the OS. And since it's doing it off of RAM, it takes a little bit. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to skip a little bit in here, but... I guess I'll let you watch the start just to see kind of what it looks like a camera like this this little Ubuntu uh, logo right there um, yep so I guess I'm just gonna skip ahead here and um, I'll meet you guys back once we get to where we're about to open right on up okay okay uh, we're just about ready. It's going to come into, after it's done going across, it's going to come into a straight bar across, all the way across. And then once it gets to the end, it'll um, open up into the desktop or whatever. So it's about ready. And, okay, we should, we should go here. Okay, here we are. And, um... Okay, this is the this is the desktop. This is what it looks like. Uh, has your icons on the side right there. It has. Um, let's see if I can get this focused. Uh, there we go. Okay, applications, places, and system. Its default browser is Firefox. Um, has the date, sound, internet, all right over there. Um, this is just like a basic look over just to see what this boot disk gets you. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, it's a fun operating system to toy around with. It can really help you, especially if you have like a virus attack or something. I've heard lots of people using it for that. Um, okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe, as you need to add me as a friend all that and um i might have an ubuntu tutorial on the way soon maybe maybe not thanks for uh, watching